This video is brought to you by Gladiator Concealment and S4 Tactical Gear. Links are in the description box below. What's up guys, it's Michael and Kyle with AKM Tactical. We appreciate y'all watching. We want to take a few minutes and talk to you guys about the top five do's and don'ts of concealed carry. This was actually a, a, a video request from one of our viewers, um, Derek I believe his name yeah. is. And uh, we we thought it was a good one. And, He's uh, one of our regulars and yeah, and yeah he, I mean, it's he, a good idea. You know, we talked back and forth a good bit on Facebook and stuff and I, yeah, we thought it was a real good idea so we're going to roll with it. Um, so I guess we'll start off with the top five do's. So, uh, and before we get started, like if you ever, if like if you're a teacher, if you're if you're teaching people, normally what we like to do is only like say positive things yep. and don't say, hey, don't do this because you've just told them a negative. Right. That makes sense. But anyways, for the sake of the video, we're gonna do do's and don'ts. But we're gonna start off with the do's. Um, number one, do dry fire practice. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, dry fire, you will do more good dry in, in the house than you will live on the range. Um, you can argue that night all you want to, but any anybody that's worth their salt, if you talk to a competitive shooter, mm. and, and I know that competitive and tactical is two different things, uh, they're two different worlds, but shooting is shooting, and being accurate is being accurate no matter what you're doing. If you talk to somebody who shoots a lot, competitively or training or whatever they do a lot of dry practice there's a lot you can learn just by going and running that gun dry then when you go out to the range you see that the dividends are great so yes. yeah That's do a, that is dry fire that practice. is the number one way to improve your shooting yeah dry fire dry fire dry fire lots of it number two do seek professional training yeah um you know and that's something that a lot of people they don't do and it's amazing that they don't do it. They go and they get their concealed carry permit and they get their gun and their crap and they just throw it on and they roll with their entire life and they never get professional training. Most of them do. Um, and I want to ask you this. Uh, what do you do for a living? Whatever it is. Whatever you do for a living. Let's, let's use Kyle for instance. Kyle, what are you? I'm a nurse. Okay. What field in nursing? What part? Where do you work at? Like, like not the hospital, but what do you do? What department do you work in? I uh, work with uh, open heart patients post-op, so I'm a cardiovascular ICU nurse. So, he works with, I like to call them fresh hearts. Yes. He works with fresh hearts. Did um did you just jump up one day and say, yeah, I think I'm going to be a CV ICU nurse and just go up there and apply and get a job? No. No. He got training from professionals. Carrying a gun is something that you, you, if you have to use it, you need to know what to do. And you're not going to learn that watching our videos or anybody else's videos. Go get professional training. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, training has, has opened up our eyes a lot. And uh, uh, it's it's just beneficial to, you know, somebody that does it for a living, you know, get their get their opinion on it. You don't have to, have to do everything that they do. But, uh, you know. Yeah, it'll Seek it'll help. help it'll help your mindset deal. more than more than anything, really. Yeah. So. Uh, what was this number three? Um, this is a big one. Purchase a good quality gun belt. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it is the base of your EDC. Yep. It is your foundation. Excuse me. Yep. Uh, it's your foundation. Um, if you do not have a good gun belt, you're probably not going to carry. Yep. Um, and you're also not going to carry a gun that we think is. That's right. Big enough to, to, to fight with. Yeah. If you're Should carrying LCP some little... <laughs> LCP! <laughs> I you, forgot about you. You don't have to have a good gun belt to carry that gun because that gun's tiny and light. And, and, and there's places for it, absolutely. But but if you're going to carry a, a... Glock 19. Glock 19, a... Glock 26. Glock 26, a SIG P320, an M&P 2.0 compact, you know... Um, whatever TP9 whatever your tp9 S sf elite you know whatever if you're going to carry a gun like that you need a good gun belt you need something that's going to hold it all up our buddy dave at s4 tactical Gear makes can, a fine gun belt yeah he'll hook you up yeah. um there's other ones there's leather yeah, belts there's other ones out there yeah but you need a good gun belt if you don't have that your carry is going to suck yeah um sorry i got it on my phone uh number four 
do carry medical. Yes. Um, and we'll add to that. Learn how to use it. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you put holes in somebody, you need to be able to plug those holes up. And you also need to live in the real world and realize that there is if you got to put a hole in somebody there's a pretty good chance that somebody's going to be sending some rounds back your way yeah it's a pretty good chance you're going to end up with a hole in you you're probably going to get a hole in you so you need to be able to treat yourself or treat somebody around you that needs to be treated you may make your mind up that you have shot a guy and you feel like you are obligated to treat him yeah. uh, you never know uh, you need to be able to do that if that happens, though. So yeah, yeah. you need to carry mainly, at least mainly for a yourself. Tourniquet. Yeah, mainly for yourself and for the innocent people around you. Yep. And guys, people, you know, you're far, far more likely to use uh, your medical gear than you are your gun. Than you are your gun. Yep. So, so do carry yeah, medical. Carry it and learn how to use it. And finally, um, probably the most important point, number five, is do carry daily. Yeah. Carry it every day. Carry carry everywhere that you possibly can. If you're a school teacher and you can't carry at school, I understand. You know, we work at a hospital, so but any time that you can carry your gun, that gun sh should be on your side. Yep. There should be no question. It's one of those things where you're not gonna you shouldn't wake up every day and go, Do I carry my gun today? Do I not? No. It is a lifestyle and it's something that you make your mind up you're gonna do and you're gonna do it every single day day that you are legally allowed to do yeah it, it's a lifestyle you know and there's people that are going to argue whether you should even carry you know well i'll carry it even if i'm not supposed to carry in that place you do you brother that's your choice um it, yeah. i have a livelihood i have to feed my family and um i can't carry in the hospital so i'm not going to um but that's something you have to decide and speaking as like a as a as a lifestyle when you were saying it, i was thinking about you know you put on your wallet you know you put your wallet in your pocket you put your keys in your pocket yep. guys it's so funny I, I have a bad habit and it sounds so stupid this is a little side note i have a bad habit of running around with my freaking flying done when i get dressed in the mornings <laughs> it's because i take so many steps Putting to like put on. my gun on put my belt on mag holster oh, i forgot I to, to zip my pants I, I swear dude i always forget to zip my pants my wife catches me uh, like are you gonna zip your pants what's wrong with you nope i'm not and I'm uh free world. yeah and it's <laughs> I don't even notice it. It drives me crazy. But it's like I do so many steps now that I forget to zip my pants. But anyways, yes, you should carry every day. Now, so. uh, we're going to give you a couple of little tidbits, a little extras. Uh, Let's save it for the end. Okay, never mind. Roll. All right, now we're going to hit the don'ts. All right. Now, you know, these are five don'ts, and uh, some are more important than others, but these are things you want to try to avoid. Number one, and I have it, don't be confrontational. Let's say, number one, don't road rage. Yeah. Uh, don't be that person that gets mad easily. and uh, Don't and be confrontational. Don't be confrontational. Don't don't get mad and pick a fight with somebody. Don't go tell somebody off just because they deserve it. Um, you need to stop and think about the fact that you have a gun. And uh, tempers can flare. And uh, if your you temper's there... You need to become there, a pacifist. That's right. You don't want to shoot somebody that you don't need to shoot. Yeah. So, don't be confrontational. Don't be confrontational and realize that if you get into a fight... While carrying a gun, there's always at least one gun in the fight. Yep, absolutely. And you don't want to get in a fight with a deadly weapon. That's I mean, right. that's a bad day. Yep. All right, number two, don't. Don't go places you wouldn't normally go just because you have a gun. That's right. Um, don't, don't sit and think about the fact, well, I'm carrying. We're good. We can go there. If you wouldn't go there before you had a gun, don't go there after you have a gun. Definitely shouldn't. Uh, yeah. Because the More reason so. you're not going to go there is because it's dangerous. And the thing about that people get so confused about concealed carry holders. They think that we're these these macho people that carry a gun and I, I hope I get to shoot somebody. I, I don't ever macho. want to use my gun. Yeah. I never want to use it. I hope I never have to use my gun. And I'll do everything in my power to avoid going to places that I could potentially use. Don't go to that gas station in a bad neighborhood just because you've got a gun in you. That's the dumbest thing you could do. Yeah, done. that's right. Stupid. Even if it is going to save you, ten, you know, five cents a gallon, go, go somewhere else. And here's here the next one here is something that we uh, royally fell at. <laughs> um, don't, number, uh, what is this, number three, don't. Yeah. Don't tell people that you carry a gun. Uh, yeah. Everybody knows we carry a gun. Unless you have a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah. but we don't go out in public. I don't walk into Walmart and go, Hello, people of Walmart. I am carrying a firearm Fear today. not. I'm a good guy with a gun. Fear not. I'm a good guy with a gun. Don't don't announce it. Don't talk about it. Don't 
it's just part of your life. It's it's the same thing as your keys that you carry. You don't go around flashing your keys. I guess if you're driving a rover, you do. But um, if you're carrying a Gucci gun, don't don't go around flashing Gucci it. <laughs> <laughs> don't go around flashing it. Don't talk about the fact that you have a gun. Um, you don't want people to know that you have a gun on you. You lose that element of surprise. Number five. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Number four. I can't count. Number yeah. four. Uh, we're going to save that one for last. Yeah, let's save that Don't one. Don't neglect your carry piece. Uh, yeah. Now, I, I, I've heard horror stories of cops pulling out their gun to qualify, and they literally haven't shot it in a year, and, like, the gun being, like, froze up on them. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're dry firing, you're, you're, you're using the gun. Uh, but clean it. Clean it every once in a while. Ain't that right, Mike? Clean yeah. it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Probably a little more than I do. But, I mean, you don't have to clean it all the time, but just clean it. Here's the thing, guys. If you're watching this channel, you're probably a concealed carrier and you're probably a big boy. Big boys sweat. Sweat corrodes guns. Clean it. Clean it. Clean it. Uh, you know, Clean your holster. If you're if you're doing all these, then you're cleaning it anyways because you have to. Um, so, just every once in a while, clean your gun. Clean your gun. Make Put sure a little it's oil in, on it. in good working and, order. And really, honest to God, honestly... More important than cleaning it is put some oil on it every once in a while. Make sure yeah. it's got some oil in it. If you can see crap on it, though, clean it. Clean it. Yeah. Don't be like me. Clean it. <laughs> don't neglect your carry piece. And number five, don't of four concealed carry holders. Woo! Here we and go. here we go. This is going to spice it Sorry. up a little bit. Don't open carry. Do not open oh, carry. Oh, 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 I hope I we didn't just now. lose some subscribers here, but... Guys, think about this. I want you to think about this, okay? Let's let's give you a for instance, okay? Let's say I was going to rob a bank. I made my mind up I was going to go to town and I was going to rob one of the banks. First thing I would do is take out the armed guard. The guy with the gun that everybody can see is the first thing I would do. Not to mention the fact that you're an open target. You're probably open carrying in some crap holster that's nylon or something where somebody can just grab the gun. Don't do that. You need to have active retention. You need to if you're if you're just bound and determined to do it, you need to you need to carry in something that's got some kind of hood, some kind of active retention thing. But don't do it. Don't open carry. Conceal carry that gun. You're you're taking away your entire your entire thing that's just your advantage, which is the element of surprise. Uh, you have completely thrown that out at the window because you've got this big full size 1911 stuck out on your side. Ooh, yeah. that even was even worse. Oh, the 1911 yeah. crowd's gonna hate that. I love 1911s, but I don't care. Yeah. So, uh, that's the five do's and don'ts. We're gonna throw y'all a little extras though. Yeah. Uh, you know, we like the do's more than we do the don'ts yeah. because, you know, it's a positive. Um, another thing that, you know, that we wanted to add is you need to do live fire practice. Yeah. Do do shoot that gun. Do practice with that gun. Because you can't replicate an explosion going off in your hand. No. Um, dry fire will make you more accurate. Live fire will make you um, calmer with the gun. Uh, it'll it'll put that stuff into action, and it'll actually show you what all your practice is doing, uh, what all your dry practice is doing per se. But but practice with that gun. And it, another thing, guys, is it gives you measurable results. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, if you guys want to get scientific about it, and the best shooters. Once they go, they'll, you know, dry fire and they'll look at their groups. Hey, yep. how's that group? You know, what can I do to improve it? Yep. Um, you know, that flinch. Everybody is going to flinch when they shoot a gun. It is an explosion going off in your hand. It is not natural. It is loud. Yep. It is, you know, you feel the force of the recoil. You have to uh, work on, you know, you're uh, getting your body used to it. I mean, I'm 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 a terrible flincher. Yeah. Well, and uh, anticipate recoil. You can't you can't fix that with dry fire practice. No. Um, you just got to start shooting the gun. But uh, you know, another caveat of of live fire of actually shooting the gun is 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 that gives you a chance to vet that piece of gear, yeah, uh, vet right. that gun to make sure that that gun is going to run when you need it to run. Uh, you know, that's something else that you really need to do as a concealed carrier. That also kind of ties into seek professional training because, yeah, yeah. you know, that's, to me, that's really the best way to test your gear yeah, is it's, take it's, it through a class, man. Yeah. You put you put whatever piece of gear you have through 700 rounds and two days of rolling around on the ground and shooting and running dropping and it in dropping the dirt and, and throwing doing all and, kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you learn a lot of things about that yeah. gun. Um, another thing that I would say is um, 
carry all your gear. Don't 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 be the guy that has a gun and a pocket knife and his wallet. Uh, you know, carry everything. Carry a flashlight. Carry, carry a flashlight. Medical. Carry medical. Carry a spare magazine. Carry a, a good knife. You know, carry all the things that you need and carry them every day. Guys, our ideal EEC is, is comparable to freaking Batman's gadget belt. Oh, if I empty my pockets when I'm carrying, oh, it's, it, it's a pile on the table. And it, people think it's strange, and maybe it is, but like... It's everything that I need. Yeah. It's everything that I need. Um, I carry a multi-tool. Yeah. A small one, but yeah. I mean, I use that sucker all the time. Uh, another thing is carry quality gear, uh, gun included. That goes back to the training too. That goes back to the training, and and because if you carry crap, you'll it, know it. You'll know it. Um, I'm not saying that you that your Taurus is not a good gun, but your Taurus is probably not a good gun. Man, <laughs> we're killing it today. <laughs> there, there's a guy. There's a guy that that he's a regular to the channel. And he follows us. And his name even has like Taurus in it. Yeah. But he the dude sh he shoots a lot and he's had no problem. And, and and if you have a Taurus, whatever it is, and vet it, it, run it, it runs. Hey, go go for it. The problem that I have with them is is the majority of the time it's not going to be. But there is there are those out there that are Cadillacs, man, and they just they just they go they run. Um, you know whatever your gun is, I'm not saying that the cheaper gun is not going to work for you because it can. Make sure that it does and carry it. Carry quality gear. Carry a quality flashlight. Use quality ammo in your gun. You know, um, carry quality gear. Get a good belt. All that kind of stuff. Um, you know, uh, and as far as the don'ts, I know we kind of said we were going to get away from that. Don't dress like you have a gun. Yeah. Don't dress like you have a gun. Don't don't wear your tactical pants and your and your Molon Lave T-shirts and your, you know, your operator hats. Don't, don't, don't make it obvious that you have a gun. If you're wearing all that, you might as well be open carrying. I see an older man, older gentleman in a fishing vest. I know that underneath that vest, he has got a revolver. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe a revolver. Or a 19 I was gonna say 1911 and yeah. a leather holster. Yeah. On his, you know, on his strong side. Yeah. I know that that's what's yeah. going on down there. Yeah. You know, try to try to blend in, blend in with the crowd. Uh, you know, I love the the tactical pants and the and the really cool 2A T-shirts, and I love my my Blackhawk uh, multicam hat. Your Night Force hat. And my Night Force hat that I'm wearing right now. You know, I love all that stuff, but I try not to wear it out in public, uh, just because I don't want to stand out. I don't want I don't want a bad guy to look at me and say that dude's got a night force hat on. He's and the reason we say that, guys, is is because um, like the criminal element pays attention. Yep. They are uh, unfortunately they are they are pretty well aware of their surroundings for the most part. Now you do see these videos of like the world's worst criminals that yep. you know just completely oblivious and there are those yep. but for the most part guys the wolves pay attention they do so you know if if you're gonna be you know if you're gonna be that that sheepdog type then you know you need to try to blend in as, as well as you can and, and you right. need to be vigilant and you need to pay attention that's right that that could have probably been a, a, a good do is uh and probably one of the most important do's is uh be vigilant and be aware of your surroundings yep. I mean that that's that's the name of the game, guys. You can uh, get yourself a lot, you know? a lot of trouble uh, just by paying attention. And uh, you know, like we said, those bad guys pay attention. They know who's paying attention. They know like he's not a soft target. Yep. He's kind of hefty. He probably couldn't run very far from me. His skin might be soft, but his mind <laughs> is not. <laughs> but he's looking at me. He's watching me. He yeah. he sees what I'm that's what right. I'm about. He sees through I me. I can't so. sneak up on him. No. So, anyways, guys, uh, you know, just just take we, these things and, and apply them, and you'll be in good shape. Yeah, we want to encourage y'all guys because the more of y'all that are out there carrying, uh, the safer, the more uh, the safer our world. The better, is. yeah, the better we are. Yeah. Uh, an armed uh, society is a polite one. That's so. right. You got anything else, man? That's it, guys. We appreciate y'all watching. You know what to do: like, share, subscribe. If you have any tips on this. Put them in the comment section below. Or yeah, y'all talk about it. Y'all go after it. Yeah, if jump we, over to the Facebook page. We always get into more in-depth conversations. If we pissed y'all off about open carry, let us know. Yeah, let us know. We won't talk about it. <laughs>
sorry too. Sorry. And apologize. the guy with the Taurus and the LCP were sorry too. Yeah. yeah. Y'all's guns may be great. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Anyways, guys, uh, we appreciate it. We'll provide links to all of our social media outlets and sponsors in the description box below. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all be safe.